What's up guys, I'm Dimitri with Heraknox. I'm back in the office, but the Computex coverage still continues. We have a few videos lined up for you. Today, we're talking about NVIDIA. Hardware Canucks is at another fantastic Computex show, all thanks to NVIDIA, Fantex, NCIX, and MSI. So aside from showing off plenty of awesome VR demos all around the floor, their VR village, uh, and a first-of-its-kind PC configuration that I've seen with triple GTX 1080 GPUs on a single system. And I just want to confirm or clarify that this was running in two-way SLI, and the third graphics card was dedicated for PhysX. And the system was running Funhouse with an HTC Vive, which was showcasing all of the best of the best VR graphics for fluid simulation, fire, shadows, and all the good stuff. Now talking about VR and trying to explain what that experience is like, it was a lot more challenging through text and video than actually having to experience it. And that's why NVIDIA had this large room so that everybody could come in and try out all types of demos for themselves so they could uh, potentially be uh, those potential buyers. But another super cool thing that I'm excited about is NVIDIA. Ansel. So what NVIDIA Ansel is, it's a game image capture tool uh, or like a photo studio for a PC game that grants you freedom to pause the game, free roam the camera uh, so you can move it anywhere you want with the idea to capture incredible in-game photography. And that is actually something more and more people are now becoming more interested in uh, and not really having the tools to do it uh, like what NVIDIA is trying to push forward. So you could potentially explore your artistic direction of expression through in-game photography with capturing just the environment that you're in with all the assets and you know game engines without the user HUD. I personally cannot wait to try Ansel and see what type of uh, images I can get with my own creative mind, but it's not as easy as simply jumping into any game and enabling Ansel. So first, the supported game list is very short with only seven games supported at the moment. And I asked them why, and it is based on the relationship between NVIDIA and the game developer and how much freedom the developer wants to give NVIDIA since you have pretty much all the controls on uh, to play around with on like the field of view, color and texture information. You have some special effects in there and different types of capture format. So either just an image or a full 360 degree VR capable capture. And so we put on the HTC Vive and jump to Witcher 3 uh, and explore that game at the moment of time when that frame was captured. And right now I think that Nvidia Ansel would be a, the perfect gateway, developing that ecosystem for VR uh, capable capture with this free roam camera perspective. Can't wait for that. One of the most important elements we are told would be uh, figuring out the right LOD or the level of detail. So if, for example, if you're capturing the resolution of 20X of the native resolution of the game or your monitor, how much detail is preserved for distant assets uh, objects and textures. And that again comes back to the developer and how much they communicate with NVIDIA so that uh, you can have either unlimited access or some sort of you know, little bracket of all this information. Now, a few concerns regarding this program lie in multiplayer and in the games like Division, for example, right now that is supported. How do you avoid players from cheating, from entering this free camera movement system, looking behind corners, gaining a bird's eye view to see encounters ahead of you? So it's it becomes like a balancing act between figuring out the system so that people don't abuse the system beyond what it's tended to do, you know? People would want, want to make some awesome images, but how do you avoid from people trying to abuse the system to gain advantage in game, especially in multiplayer? This would be a really cool thing to see how they tackle that issue. But this idea of having a photo studio for a PC game is so awesome, uh, you know, explore your creative direction. If you're not an artistic or visual person, you could potentially try this and see, express your creativity through in-game engines without the HUD create all types of beautiful images. Can't wait to try this. Of course, I want to make, the, make this clear, this being an NVIDIA product, it is locked to NVIDIA GTX GPUs. Can't wait to get my hands on it and we'll be doing a full video on it, so make sure to subscribe. Guys, thank you so much for watching. What do you think about NVIDIA Ansel? Are you excited? Let us know in the comments down below. I'm Dimitri with Hardware Canucks. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.